Well, Morgan was my great 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 grandmother, and her mother was also called Rigmore. But she died, and the college adopted Morgan, and when she came of age, became the court mage to the Mead dynasty. How cool is that, Dragonborn? So, the heirlooms I have, you know, when I first met you, Morgan made those from her mother's armor and weapons. But after the Emperor died, she came back to the college and disappeared. She took the heirlooms with her, but left behind what we have now. What am I going to say to them? Okay, let's do this. Just pass me Morgan's armor. Now pass me her sword. Yes, I do. Just... Just give me the sword. You really want to know? I feel invincible. I am an unstoppable force. A born killer, widow maker, a true Nord warrior, and my enemy's worst nightmare. And the scariest thing of all? It excites me. It invigorates me. It is all I have ever known, and I feel good. But once this is done, Know this, it will be over. So don't you ever ask me about it again. Do you understand me? Just so you know, I'm not doing this for Cassius, or Ingol, or, or you. I'm doing this for my father. It's what he would have wanted. I at least owe him this much, considering the failure I've been so far. You never know. He might even forgive me. That's her. She's here. Miss Rigmore, she's here. She's here. Miss
was at the Red Ray. Rigmar! Rigmar! She's here! It's Rigmar! My sword is yours, Rigmar! Back off! Let her through! Back off! Let the child through! She truly is her father's daughter. Silence. Silence. Let the child speak. You asked for me to come. Here I am. Yeah! I know you all loved my father, and most of you here, sons and daughters of Talos, will have followed him and fought alongside him with loyalty and honor. You are here today because a new wind blows from the north, and on it rides a new danger ready to sow the seeds of war. This homecoming is testament to your love for your homeland. This calling of arms, my brothers and sisters, testament to your love of our people. This truce between our former enemy is testament to the peril we face. For a short time, the enemy of our enemy shall become our friend. Because from the north a new enemy is coming, waiting to strike at our homeland. A new danger never before seen, where no one is safe. A new order which comes not to take away our freedom. A new order comes not to occupy and enslave us. But to annihilate us! Our children, our people, to destroy us and burn our lands, to desecrate our shrines and take away everything we hold dear. Well, I say to you, let them come! Yeah! We will throw them back into the sea. I say to you, let them come! Can you please take me home now?
Ready? <coughs> Drag it board. Dragonborn. By the gods. You okay? Sethry arrived earlier. What an obnoxious elf. He took a bath in the lake and hasn't gotten dressed since. He has been annoying Angie, too. You might want to tell him to put some clothes on. I tried to tell him earlier, but he insists it's his farmhouse, and he thinks he can do whatever he likes. Yes, he's around somewhere. How has Rigmore been? That's good to know. Dragonborn. Thank you, Dragonborn, for being here for me. Yes, I will. Good night, Dragonborn. I'm not naked. I've got a pair of pants on. You would do well to make yourself decent. There are ladies present. Whoa there. We don't all have a huge mansion in Tormal. It's the heat. The invasion fleet you're expecting has been spotted out to sea off the coast of Morrowind thought you'd want to know. They should be here any time soon. Can I help you? Our allies are ready to pounce. Once the invasion starts, countermeasures will be taken. The Dominion is waiting for the moment to strike on the Isle. Once the New Order land in Skyrim, Meade will feign troop movements north to expose the southern army and crush them on the border of Cyrodiil. Do you have any plans? How does a man get some decent food around here? Talking about plans. Well met, Dragonborn. Ingle and I thought it wise to discuss the coming invasion. Do you have any suggestions regarding the defense of Skyrim from the enemy forces? We could try and throw them back into the sea, but we don't know when or where they land. We'll be outnumbered, so we have to choose our ground wisely. The swamps around Hjalmark are not suited to Legion tactics. We will become bogged down. The mud will kill us. They have only a few options open to them, too. What's the bet they'll avoid Solitude and Windhelm and go for Broke? 
Yes. If I were in Adriath's position, I would avoid a lengthy siege. He doesn't even know if the Southern Army Group will advance in good time, if at all it defeats Titus's army. So a suppressing force on the Pale Border, and one a Dragon Bridge, will effectively cut off Solitude and Windhelm, while the main bulk of troops head straight for Whiterun. That's what I would do. As Ingol just said, go for broke. Yeah, he has to get his army out of the swamp immediately, like a lightning strike within 24 hours of landing. If they take the city of Whiterun, the war in Skyrim is over. He will be free to take Solitude and Windhelm at will. He'll protect his flank. Sethry, for heaven's sake, put some clothes on. With a small force. <laughs> As you wish, I'll go get dressed. What is it? Excellent. The walls will protect our right flank. He has no choice but to come for us. We can draw his main force into ground of our choosing and take the head off the serpent. Hey. The classic textbook maneuver. Pin him down and outflank their left. We can use the White Run Garrison to boost my numbers. Hey. There's two options open for him. Through the mountain pass at Labyrinthian, or across the plains via Dragon Bridge. Either way, we will be waiting outside the city. With my encampment on the Pale Border, and Ingol's camp outside Windhelm, he would need a protracted campaign to take that area, so he will avoid it. Come, Cassius. We can discuss the logistics on the way back to our garrisons. We'll keep you informed of the situation, Guardian. Greetings. Yes, but you mentioned Rigmore's memory has returned. We need to make one more connection. We need to find something that will link her to her past. Maybe something from her childhood. You have spoken to her at length. Has she confided in you? Something very personal she feels guilty about. <laughs> that he trained her to be the son he never had. She told that to me, and with all that has gone on. Maybe she doesn't feel worthy of her task set by her father. None of that was her fault. There was nothing she could have done to protect her father. Or more importantly in this case, her mother. Only hate and revenge fueled her until recently. Now, Sigurn is safe, but what of her father's love? We must reconnect her with her past. She needs to rediscover her father's love. It must come from a source not connected with her life since he was murdered. Sometimes it can be an item. Do you know of anything? Maybe Sigun would know, had she mentioned about Rigmore's childhood.
Excellent. It could help with her recovery. Well met. Yes, the one she gave to the little dark elf girl. Why are you asking? It was just a piece of old dowling with a sackcloth dress and string hair. She called it Jenny. I hope one day this will all be over so I can take her home. Maybe we can live a normal life. Start over. I hope the doll helps. <laughs>